hello. Uh, I'm sitting here with uh, Pat Howard, uh, who is um, VP of Global Business Services at IBM. Um, hello, Pat, and thank you for taking the time uh, to speak with us. Good to be here, Love. Thank you. Uh, now, Pat is um, uh, in charge of um, application development at IBM uh, for IBM Corporate. And actually, as part of that, why don't I let uh, Pat just kind of introduce uh, what you do and what your role is and what you're um, um, tasked with on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, thank you, Lev. Actually, I was hoping you were going to describe my role to me, but let me go ahead and take a yeah. shot at it. I, I do run application development and maintenance for IBM's internal systems on a worldwide basis, reporting into our CIO. Thank you, Pat. Now, IBM, um, last time I checked, was a fairly large uh, company. Um, I don't know, I think it's got to be Fortune 50, Fortune 20, something like that. Or it could be Fortune 10. Uh, it <laughs> may even be. <laughs> I uh, apologize, I didn't know. But uh, it must be a very sophisticated environment that you have to operate. Can it, you it's, a very, it's a very demanding environment, Lev. And we operate in many countries worldwide, obviously across many time zones, and with a very large, complex array of products and services that we're delivering to our customers, uh, covering uh, all industries. And, and so as a result of that, the internal systems that support everything from our 300 millimeter manufacturing plants through the supply chain, to our CRM systems and the support that we have for our sales and field sources, uh, forces are really quite uh, intense as well. Um, it's, a, it's a complex array of activity. It, 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 it covers a complex array of legacy systems as well as very modern architectures and packages that we deliver as well. And we also have got a, a workforce worldwide which is really quite demanding. Many individuals who are mobile working at customer sites and bringing on a whole unique array of requirements with that as well. Wow. Well, it's complex as any large enterprise. Um, now, in terms of CAST and the way you were introduced to CAST, um, what were some of the issues uh, that you were dealing with at that particular time that led you to think about CAST and think about bringing it in? Well, Lev, I, I, that's a good leading question. Yes. Uh, actually, our relationship goes back, um, I, I guess, just a little over two years ago when um, one of our mission critical applications were experiencing some problems in production. And with it, as you can imagine, given the, um, the heightened care around our mission critical systems that touch our customers or that might impact our ability to ship product, for example, uh, we assembled a group of uh, leading technical experts worldwide to help remediate the issues that we were encountering. And along with that, because of some connections that we had in our relationship with CAST, on the commercial side of our business, uh, we made contact with uh, you and your teams and brought them in to help us analyze the code as well. This was code related to our, the operation of our supply chain. And, and over a, a, a period of time, uh, the teams, uh, especially with the help of CAST, ended up uh, diagnosing the, the issues a little bit more precisely, uh, permitted us to get uh, to execute the software engineering activity that was needed in order to fix the issues when we got it all back in production. And with that, that was really the start of a relationship here with an IBM. Wow. That's very, very good to hear. Um, now, uh, once you were uh, bringing CAST in and you were looking at some of the, some of the information that was coming back, um, what were some of the things that got you intrigued to move forward uh, to roll cast out a little bit more broadly. Well, well, the di the diagnostics were um, uh, not only precise and deep and meaningful and um, permitted us to really understand the operation of an application from a completely new vantage point. But what uh, was really um, raised uh, back to me uh, by our senior executive team was whether or not there were things we could be doing across the portfolio to better speed up our delivery. Uh, so with that, and that's not, a trivial, that's not a trivial request, compressing cycle time for software delivery and applications is obviously a, a tricky request because of the number of impediments, technical impediments, that might be encountered in trying to accomplish that kind of a goal. So um, with it, what we did is we assembled a team, and CAST was part of that, where we were looking across our portfolio and seeing what kinds of 
of opportunities we could identify in the portfolio to be able to better speed up, compress our cycle time, speed up the delivery of software for the IBM company. Uh, with these pilots, we brought in our top technical architects, top technical delivery leaders who were looking at the output that was coming from the static analysis of the CAS system and seeing uh, what kind of additional insights could be identified where we couldn't have otherwise gotten to it through you know, the good old-fashioned way, and that is through you know, human, human inspection, through desk checks, things like that.